Well, hello, this is Jiménez Mayer. I just got in this little urge to fly around on GM Fork. So that is what we will be doing. Whoops. It looks like my laptop's battery. <laughs> I forgot to connect it in. You know, the battery life of this laptop is so good that I don't even need to connect it in. Oh well, it's looking good, it's nice to fly around in the GM4, which is a really nice map. Whoa, what happened? I feel I just crashed into an invisible wall, which is probably exactly just what happened. <laughs> this map is uh, nicely made, if you can say the least. Alright, I actually think that uh, this plane is strong enough to just start from the rooftop like this. Like a real war plane. Just like that, yep. Okay, it, this is like War Thunder. I'm always... I, I like to sit inside a plane in War Thunder. So that you can go around and make the stunts things or just crash. The difference is, you don't actually crash in G-Mode. Then we can have the... Whoa! Oh my god! Oh lord! <laughs> what happened? The machine guns are very dangerous in this game. The ACF machine guns. Didn't go too well, did it? Alright. No! No, no, no. Okay, we tried to start. We try. Okay, we try this again. We'll be trying to fly some other stuff too. Don't worry. We just want to have one at least nice kind of flight with this thing. Maybe it's impossible to sit inside the thing while flying. I don't know. Yep, it is. Or I'm just a bad pilot. That might be also true. Okay, okay, okay. Can we lift from here? That's that's the interesting part. If you are kind of a new GMOD subscriber to this channel, um, I made this plane a while ago. And it's my pride. It's post-apocalyptic. Ish. Whoa, no. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Ah, so close. Okay, this time, this time, we get a nice takeoff. We just need to get into the plane first. That's a challenge itself. Come on, yes. And flight. The difference with War Thunder and G-Mod is that it's very hard to build a plane in G-Mod. It's also hard to fly them. If you don't make them very strange, of course, you can make super easy to fly planes. But adding some realism with fin tool and and ACF uh, powered, then it gets harder. You have the real physics to you know, <laughs> engage yourself with. I kind of al almost want to build a another ACF aircraft. Oh no. Oh no. We're so screwed. Oh well. Let's try an airship. Let's try an airship. We'll definitely we will warm up we'll warm up with the official airship. It's just Built this when I wanted to play um, Half Life uh, 2. I wanted to play it with. Uh, oh no. Oh really? Does this even work? Interesting. Oh, that's the wrong. <laughs> what am I thinking? It's this. Of course. Naturally, yes. Okay. 
I wanted to play some Half-Life 2, so I made a little airship that I could use in the maps. So I played Half-Life 2 via Garry's mod. So I guess that's not really the same thing, but... Okay. Now if I remember everything. There is no seat in this, by the way. Okay, we're going... <laughs> going for liftoff. So it's very scary. If you go too fast, you will absolutely die, 100%. It's very exciting, in other words. Okay, we have wires. I hope we can collide with them. Oh, shit. More lifting force. Uh, screw it. Activate the engines. Okay. There we have it. More speed. Okay, this will be narrow. Come on. And fast turn. Oh, yes. Excellent pilot. I'm impressed with myself. Okay. Let's hit the f speed. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't have a speedometer. Okay. But it's real. It's almost meditative to go around in this little airship thing. And actually, if you like this airship thing, you can totally download it. There are some videos available for that. But it's really nice when you're out of it because you can basically shoot things from the like airship. Oh no, I see a problem here. I like that. Oh no. And if you start to move around in the airship, you're kind of very screwed. Oh no. And here we start to experience smaller problems. How to solve this problem? There is one thing you absolutely should not do. One, don't move around in the airship or you might get hurt. Oh no. Oh no. And don't fearful too much with the controls. And there is one thing you absolutely should not do, and that's that's using the crowbar. Because then you'll break the airship. <laughs> oh well. There is one more airship that's slightly, slightly more advanced. Um, and there might be some spawning issues here. You never know. I think there were. I'm not sure. That's why I have two versions, and I never remember which one of this is the correct one. So that's a bit sad, but uh, okay. And it's trying to get the base prop. Oh yes, and here we have it. And then we move it to the location so we don't get any weird things. Yes, this has the fun feature that you can sit on the wings, because I put chairs there. Okay, it's a minor feature. I know, I know. Now wait. These look kind of boring. Why do they do that? Um, let's put some exhaust and... No. Covers. But only one of them. <laughs> oh well. I feel I missed some color there, but oh well. So, how to prepare this airship? First you need to get in, which might be harder, because I put this a bit too... Yes, come on. It worked last time. Oh well. Sheet. Set a rudder to forward. Cycle animation for the gun. And load them. So you can basically... Set direction and... Pretty cool, right? Do I need to mention that the recoil is... Pretty heavy and will actually change the direction you're going. Oh well. Engines activated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use light. We totally need lots of light here, or not? Yeah. 
but it's kind of lit up anyways. Alright, activate lift engine 1 and 2. Vacuum is being created. Alright. Now, there is a possibility to use manual control. Let's do manual takeoff and hope we'll not die. Wait. Balloons are spawned. Ah, lifting force. Extract pressure from tanks. And two. And here we have. We're lifting off. We now are weightless and we should totally activate the engines. Aha! Ah, it's a bit loud, but the engines are going forward and we totally just crashed into a tree. That is absolutely great. This is why manual control is a bad idea. Um, so what we can do now is trying to damn it, move towards... Oh no, we're going to crash. Turn now. Whoops, wrong chair. Oh no. Uh, and this, this is why I also made a wire control, because it's too fast. Basically, in practicality, one can not control this by one person. If you're several persons flying one airship, which would be awesome, but very rare, you can totally control this with ease, but you know. But I connect them to the buttons, so they at least look cool. Also, the buttons are 1 to 100, so, you know, it's a very reasonable setup. And we have a different bunch of gears here. Also, yeah, probably all of you know about my Pride D. <laughs> the pride of the airship called Melody. Mm. Named after a character in a book called... Uh, in a book by... in a short story by R. R. Martin. Oh no, I removed it. So sad. I could have fl flown around for ages and ages, but I just wanted to, you know, Test a new computer on the fantastic map, just because we can, basically. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little random uh, <laughs> flying on fork video. See you around, Jimmy Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.